This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Washington. I'm here with Wellness Inspired. Since 2008, she has spread positive energy, information, and inspiration through education and entertainment, lifting the veil to elevate your life. I'm joined with award-winning author, host, Reiki master, Paula Vale. Thanks so much for joining us here today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I am truly honored, thrilled to be here. Excellent. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. You were successfully working in the restaurant industry for nearly three decades. As an owner-operator, you knew you were ready for a change, yet this next chapter included coping with the loss of a loved one. You turned to Reiki. You found more than healing. You really found a new career. Soon you were a radio host of Why Am I So Happy and producer of Finding Your Joy as the founder of Wellness Inspired over a dozen years ago. Now through your writing and your own podcast, you now teach the true essence of Reiki and share the gift of healing. Share with me the journey in your own words of what brought you here today. Oh, it and it really has been a journey. It really has. All those years in the restaurant, managing it and then buying it, I, I, that's when I realized I have a server's heart and I so enjoyed it. And then when I moved on and learned Reiki for love of a pet to help a, a sick pet, she's in the picture behind me, and it helped her so much. And I fell in love with the practice of Reiki. It's, it's just life changing. So I've really enjoyed that. And then about eight years ago, I was asked to uh, become a host of a radio show. And that's what got me into that. And I just so enjoy that. I mean, I, I get inspired, informed. I mean, it's such a blessing to interview and share so many positive, amazing people in the world. I mean, it's great to be doing what you totally love. I mean, really what you and I do inspiring others was not even possible back when you began. I mean, by informing people on the World Wide Web and beyond, is this your way of empowering people through information? Yes, yes. It's, it's a way of empowering them and letting them know that they're cared about, they're loved, they're supported. I, you know, my whole goal with my show, my Reiki, my, my award-winning book is, you know, being a positive energy in the world and just, you know, starting that bubble and seeing that bubble grow for others. Interesting. I mean, you definitely are a servant at heart. What may have taken years for you to learn now can take months with information that we're able to share. Is the sharing of information really the foundation to much of what you do? And are you honored to be such a source for so many people? Yes, it, it is so much of what I do. And I do see it as an honor. And for example, teaching the beautiful modality of Reiki, I take that as a great honor and a responsibility and being able to offer that, being able to offer, you know, what I've learned, you know, in my life and, and just sharing and supporting others. It's, it's an honor and it's, I, I, it's a passion. I have found my passion. Definitely so. I mean, your personal journey involved a recreating of yourself is what you believe you create and what you create you become. Is that something you have experienced firsthand and you now help others to do the same? Yes, yes, it absolutely is. And something that I, I truly believe is that, you know, we have one hand in which we have our goals, we have what we strive for, what we want to achieve. And then the other hand, we can just open that hand and say yes to what beautiful manifestations may come to us, connections, people. And oh my gosh, when we do that, we can have things come into our lives that we had not even imagined. Interesting. I mean, you have been a Reiki practitioner for over a dozen years. You've received master training in Peru. Why is Reiki still the cornerstone to what you teach? And explain to my viewers out there, what is Reiki for those that don't know? Reiki is, is energy 
uh, using our life force energy, it's actually very scientifically based. Our, our luminous energy field tells our DNA what to do. And with learning Reiki and being able to, you know, have that for yourself, for your loved ones, your pets, what I have seen over all these years teaching and offering Reiki is, is just unbelievable. It's, it's really a beautiful, wonderful thing. And it's, you know, it's love, positivity, and, but it, it affects us and it helps us heal. Absolutely. I mean, you teach not just Reiki, but the true essence of Reiki. What do you mean by that? And how may that differ from what others may have found out there through Reiki? I, I researched Reiki a lot and it's very important to me. I, I teach authentic Reiki and I really strove, you know, I've strived to, you know, teach the basics, what it truly is. And really it is, it's very simple. It's very powerful, but very simple. So I just take it very seriously and as an honor, really, to know and practice Reiki and teach it. I mean, you discovered Reiki not from another person, but really your pet. Do you offer your services for both humans and pets? And why does that continue to be important for you, would you say? Yes, it's I do, and it's very important. And over the years, I've had clients bring their their pets, dogs, cats, once a chicken. I have given Reiki, yeah, I have given Reiki to wildlife, giraffes, elephants in Africa. One time, a property, I still have property in Centralia, Washington, acreage where I grew up, and I'm working on a nonprofit animal rescue there. But one time I was giving Reiki, sending Reiki to a deer in the front yard. And that deer literally just laid down in the yard. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh -huh. You are a level three master in serenity vibrational healing with crystal bowls and illumination. Uh, shamanism and quantum healing techniques are all part of your services. For those that are not familiar with many of these things that you offer, are you able to consult with them and find out what best could help them? So is the consultation part, listening to your client, is that an important piece? Yeah, I do uh, chat with my client and we have discussions before any kind of session. And I explain what the other modalities are and they really all so go together, a crystal, uh, a bowl that I play, you know, gives you sound vibration healing, which goes fantastic with the Reiki. And then shamanism is one of the oldest medicines. Uh, I had the, the honor of spending time with an amazing shaman in Peru. And that's kind of connecting yourself more in touch with the planet and the animals, but all that kind of goes together, all these different modalities. I kind of, I call it Reiki soup. We can and learn do Reiki shaman, and... Do you have a shaman name that you go by? Yes, Shantara. Interesting. I mean, yes. you, you begin radio broadcast work with Voice America, hosting for the love of Reiki. But you now have gone beyond Reiki by teaching positive thinking, sharing many tools for self-empowerment. Do you ever imagine... I mean, did you ever imagine to have such a, a wide following like you do today? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I never imagined that. And actually, when I first started doing my first show, I wanted to end the show with, you know, love, hugs, and blessings. And I thought, oh, everyone's going to think I'm a weirdo telling them I love them. And then I said to myself, I have to be me. I do. I do love. And I want to share that. And I have to be me. And... It has come to where, you know, I don't even have to look for guests and who I've met and how it's expanded, but I did not even dream of this happening. That is excellent. Know thyself and be thyself. That is uh, our goal throughout our lives, obviously. How do our how do the viewers out there get started with you? Can your services be provided in person, in classes, or even virtually? How can they connect with you? I do classes in person, 
and I do occasionally do them in other areas. I've recently been asked to do a retreat in Bali. So I'm going looking at doing that the 1st of 2025. But I do offer long distance Reiki and they can just contact me on my website, wellnessinspired.com. And long distance Reiki is very powerful, what I've seen over the years. So I absolutely am available for that. And then in person Reiki sessions and classes as well. It is an honor to connect you with my viewers out there. I mean, Paula, you help others live with love and compassion, enabling blessings to manifest in people's lives. You have multiple awards, and in 2019, you were awarded Empowered Woman of the Year. Your vision for all is to no longer have to ask, why am I so happy? But because it will be the natural state of being, really, for everyone. Is this yes. mission... Is it rewarding for you as you continue to move forward? It is, it is. And you know, it's rewarding to to be in a, a crowded room and be someone with a smile or give someone a, ki a comment, you know, or act of kindness and see how, what that does for others and see how that can change the energy in the room. I mean, we all, what we do in our energy and, and what we strive for, it does affect others. And, you know, we can support each other and love each other. I can definitely tell by just speaking with you that you lead with your heart even more than you lead with your head. And obviously people have, uh, have gravitated towards that. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is her website. On the website, you can see all the ways you can connect with her, be it her books, podcast, or radio show, or even in person. If you are a Reiki student seeking a mentor, definitely reach out. If you would like to be a guest on her show, um, contact her um, right there on the website. Read the testimonials online and you'll soon realize that you too can experience a life-changing effect with these tools as she affects others and the world, not with her mind, but with her heart. Once again, that is Wellness Inspired. She will lift the veil to elevate your life. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.